Jane is a 24-year-old uh, first-time mom who was referred to us after being discharged from the hospital due to her second accidental drug overdose. And at that time, they found out that she was pregnant. Our first visit, she um, was about an hour and 15 minutes late. During our visit, it was more with her cell phone than with me. And I just thought, hmm. So then the second visit, I was confirming, and her mother called me back and said, don't bother her, she's in jail. I was like, oh, OK, now what? So Patricia called me and said, uh, this was new territory for us. She asked me, could we see her in jail? And I said, I think we can. I wasn't sure what the process was. So uh, Patricia figured out what she needed to do to get the permissions that she needed to see Jane. And, um, and showed up for, during visiting hours, and Jane was shocked. She's my client. I don't care where you are, I'm gonna go visit you. So she works her way to get to the prison. I wouldn't even know who to call, who to ask. I'd probably show up shaking that I would be put behind bars. So Patricia was doing visits like she would normally do at home, bringing her information, talking to her about her pregnancy, uh, answering questions. Uh, only difference was she was doing it between, uh, with a plexiglass between them. So I would put them up to the wall, the window, so she could read it. But it was weird, because you want, you can't, you know, you can't touch her. Jane and Trisha did visits uh, there for the next three months. Well, when she came out of jail, uh, I remember just hugging her tightly, knowing, yes, I can finally touch her, you know, I can. It was just, it was just joyous, you know, so great to have her home. A couple of months later, she delivered her child, baby boy and um, the baby suffered from neonatal abstinence syndrome. And he was in the NICU for nine weeks. And during that period of time, Trisha uh, visited the client with her baby every week. When I visited her in jail, she said, I am never coming back here again. I'm done with drugs, I'm not doing this anymore. And she's held up her word. She's completely done a 180 and it's nothing to do with drugs anymore. It's all about her baby, so it's amazing. I had the privilege of being able to meet um, the client in a home visit with her family, and she said to me, who does this? She said, how could someone, after one meeting me one time, come out to see me in the jail? She said that was one of the lowest points of her life, and, um, and it meant so much to know that Trisha was willing to come visit her there. And her mother uh, said to me, Trisha's not just our nurse, Trisha is part of our family. She's a quiet, reserved nurse that is very committed to the work that she's doing for Nurse Family Partnership. But to me, I'm just excited when I see that particular passion come out to make a difference in a child's life and in this young woman's life. I just, I can't believe that passion that, you know, and, and that ability to be able to, I don't know, do whatever is needed. That's just incredible to me. <laughs> They're just a wonderful family. It's hard to not, you know, love these people. The client is uh, on probation. She's meeting all the terms uh, of that probation. And she's now working full time as a medical assistant. And I'm glad because she is an amazing woman. I just, she's so committed to her son. Um, She's followed through with so many things. She said she wanted to um, get a job. She's got her job. Uh, she wants to lose weight. She's in the process of doing that. Yeah, she's still my client. I'm supposed to see her this afternoon. So I'm excited to see her.